This question comes to us from Kay, and Kay writes says, Hey, Pastor Richard, our pastor likes to preach that Jesus wants an intimate relationship with us. I know this statement has been expounded on in evangelical circles, and I don't know what to think about it. To be sure, Jesus calls us friends and brothers. However, I'm not quite sure what kind of baggage this phrase, intimate relationship, may contain. Would you explain how we should interpret this statement from a confessional Lutheran perspective? Thanks, Kay. Now, Kay, when we think of this phrase, intimate relationship, it conjures up an idea of romance. Now, to be very, very careful, we don't want to write this off immediately saying that it is romantic gobbledygook, for the Bible does contain romantic language. Think of the uh, Old Testament book of Song of Solomon. It talks about an intimate relationship between a husband and wife that is also allegorically tied to Christ and his church. So the Bible does use this romantic language. Also, we have to understand that this word intimate has a range of meaning. It can mean anything from close to private to familiar uh, to very personal. So how is the word linguistically used? We need to take that into consideration as well. Now, in regard to American evangelicalism, though, the American evangelicals will use this phrase quite contrary to how we could possibly implement it and use it within Lutheranism. Here's what they do. When it comes to an American evangelical, they take this phrase, intimate relationship, and they take Jesus and they put him in the intimate caverns of their heart. They take the heart and they expand it in width and depth and height. They place Jesus in that heart and they separate him from his word and sacrament. So therefore, as a person lives the Christian life, as a disciple of Christ, they're not looking outward to his word and sacrament. They're looking inward to Jesus dwelling in that heart, speaking to them in that still small voice. Here's why this is very problematic. How do we discern whether it's the still small voice of Jesus or that small voice of our sinful flesh speaking to us? In fact, what happens typically when we place Christ into that heart that way and we look inward, we create another idol. We create a false Jesus. And then we're following a Jesus that does not replicate or is not consistent with his very spoken word. That is going the way of mysticism. Now, within Lutheranism, though, if we were to use this word intimate relationship, we could use it when we refer to something such as baptism. Indeed, baptism is very intimate. It is very close. The triune God comes and places his name upon our head and our hearts when we are baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This word also is very, very intimate when it comes to us in our ears. As the preached word and the absolution comes and is poured into our ears when we hear for Christ's sake that we are forgiven. Very intimate, very close, very personal. Now, it, it gets even more intimate for us as Lutherans when it comes to communion. Think about this. The very true body and blood of Christ poured into our mouth and into our bellies for the forgiveness of sins. The very true body and blood in, with, and under the bread and the wine coming to us, to each and every one of us, filling us and pronouncing us forgiven, giving us his very blood and body. That, my friend, is very intimate. So, back to your question. I would ask your pastor, how is he using this word intimate? Is, it, is he doing it the way of American evangelicalism, going to the intimate heart? Or is he going the way of word and sacrament? That is very, very intimate that Jesus comes to us in his word and sacrament. The very first one, going the way of American evangelicalism, I would actually warn you and run away from that. But if, he's, if he is using it the way of word and sacrament, rejoice, because it is indeed intimate. So I hope that helps, and we'll catch you next time. Hey, if you want to learn more from this most recent lightning cut, please check out the links below. Peter is going to link you to some issues, etc. on this very topic. So check it out, issues, etc. Talk radio for the thinking Christian.